everyone and welcome. We are Cats and Camo here today to review the Sig Sauer P938. 938 is a 9mm handgun. Sig makes an astonishing number of them. There's somewhere between 15 and 20 different versions of the 938. The one you see in front of you is the Blackwood. It has wood grips and a stainless slide. It looks really cool. It holds seven rounds in the magazine, so seven plus one, and it weighs 16 ounces. The barrel length of this gun comes out exactly to three inches, where the total length of the gun then comes out to 5.9 inches. The width is fairly small, coming in at 1.1 inches, and the height of the gun only comes out to 3.9 inches. Well, now that we've gotten the basic specs out of the way, Dan over here is going to show us how to disassemble and then reassemble this gun. We're going to take the little guy apart. <laughs> Be gentle. We're going to see what makes him tick. <laughs> the SIG 938. It's a little carry gun, so it's going to come apart a little bit more complicated maybe than some of the full-size guns. Still not a difficult process though. As always, first things first, I'm going to cock the hammer because it makes it easier to manipulate the slide. But we're going to push the slide back. We're going to verify that the gun is in fact empty, nothing in the chamber, and once we've done that, now we can take the gun apart. We're going to push the magazine release button, take the magazine out, set it aside. Now to take the slide off, you see at the top of the slide, at the bottom of the slide, there's, there's cuts here. The little round one is what we're going to line up our slide release with. So we're going to push this back until it just catches, and then on the back side, see if the camera can catch that. See the little silver circle? We're going to push that towards us. So we line this up, push the little lever forwards, and take the slide stop completely out. Set it aside, and now our slide comes off. There's a frame, set it down. Our guide rod and recoil spring. Now the difficulty here is this is not what they call a double capture spring. Double capture spring, it's all one, it, it doesn't come off. <laughs> this does. That's going to make putting it back together a little bit more interesting for us. And by interesting, I mean frustrating. Barrel comes out as normal. So there's the gun disassembled. When we go to put it back together, barrel goes in first, clicks into place. <sighs> We're going to put the spring in the front right there. And notice this is not completely round. That rests on the underside of the barrel eventually. For right now, I'm going to put that in and we're going to guide it forwards, which means we're going to push it until it lines up and take that. I know my fingers kind of covered that, but you're going to push the whole thing so it feeds through the spring into there and then has room to sit there. Once that happens, you're gold and you're ready to put this back on. Now when you look at the frame here, See this? That's sticking up. That needs pushed down and it's spring loaded so it'll pop back up. When you get close with the slide, you've got to hold that down. So we're going to line that up on the rails. We're going to push that forwards so that the slide will pass over it. And then we're gold. This goes in, pushes through, and bring it out just a little bit so it'll rotate up. And we're going to take the slide, line that little cutout up with the edge so that it will fit back in. Ta-da! Forwards. Run the action a couple times, make sure it works. Magazine goes back in. Safety still works. And there is the SIG 9.3. A little bit more work than some, but still pretty easy. Now, I'm noticing what looks like screws here. It, can you actually, like, change out the uh, grips on here? Like, just yes. decorative or, like... Yeah. So the wood grips that come standard on the Blackwood can be changed out if you like the rubberized, like the Hogue grips. Oh. Um, there's a number of vendors that sell customized grips, so you can get the Punisher skull on your little 938. <laughs> um, you can do ivory. I've seen Ooh. bone. Wow. Uh, and uh, for the hunting crowd, the stag antler thing, I've seen grips made out of that. Um, so it is possible to customize the gun a little bit just in case the 15 to 20 different choices that SIG gives you wasn't <laughs> enough. Well, now that we've oohed and on over this gun in the shop, let's take it on the range and see how it does. Alright everyone, 
everyone. We are on the ride today with our six hour P938. We're gonna make Allie do five, two five round magazines. One set of five in the torso at seven yards, which is still pretty standard for a carry gun. But then second magazine, we're gonna stretch it out to 12 yards and let you shoot the long distance alien with the close quarters gun. <laughs> so long distance charges may apply. You are loaded, not chambered. Have at it. Yep, push this up. That's my shot. <laughs> I'm tired of hitting the torso. I guess. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing Allie did. I'm going to do my standard, basic kind of warm up drill for, for a full size gun. So, two five round mags. We'll do three in the head at seven yards. And then we'll try a double tap to the torso. And then, magazine change, do a high low combination. And then try three in the head at 12 yards. And remember, our alien is already sporting an extra nose because Allie shot him in the head once just because. So here we go. The SIG 938, nine millimeter. supposed to happen. Double tap. Really low. Double tap to the groin. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and if you enjoyed this video, point those crosshairs at the like button down below, and make sure to stay tuned for part two, coming later this week. See you then.